hello guys welcome to wundia's corner youtube channel once again today as you have seen on the screen we're making bean sauce popularly called begiri in nigeria the first step is for you to soak the beans you can use any beans of your choice you can use like the black eye white beans like the one i'm using now or use the normal brown beans soak it until it's very soft then peel now my beans is um been soaked and it's very soft ready to be peeled so that is what I'm doing now. I'm going to try my best to make sure it gets peeled off. So let's go there. Make sure it's clean. But you know this white beans is kind of <laughs> stubborn or what will I say. But I tried my best to make sure it's clean and this is the result, the end result I got. You can see then after this you're going to boil some water put some water on the fire where you're going to cook the, the washed or the peeled beans then you add some chopped onion into it just to infuse the flavor into it and then it gives you nice flavor cook until it's very soft then you can either use your uh, yeah your ijabe to match it together or you use your blender to blend it smoothly but i prefer to blend it because it's a very fast method and it's very nice but some people used to say that they don't really like to blend it because it thickens the begiri there is no begiri that would not become thick especially when you don't eat it immediately or you leave it till the second day before you eat it will still be thick so all burger has to be thick when it's over a day so whether you use your blender or you use the hijab to, to match it together it's still going to give you the res the same result after one day so and it's not going to lose taste it depends on how you cook your meals though so after blending it i poured it in the pot then i'm going to add the seasoning um, agents um to it you can decide to add locust bean if you have but i don't have at the moment so i'm using um just salt and some seasoning cube so i'm adding half of the seasoning cube to it because i don't want it to be too salty because i've added salt to it and i'm still going to eat this with some pepper stew so now this is my shrimps blended shrimps i'm adding some blended shrimps to it and some blended pepper as well then palm oil so that's those are all the recipes i'm going to be using for these you know the beans has been cooked before the only thing you want to make sure cooks now is the red oil and the blended pepper you add to it so just leave it for about five minutes for the pepper and the red or um, red oil to get cooked with it then your beggary is ready to be eaten with anything you want to take it with beggary is very very nice yes and also delicious this soup is popularly known with the Ibadan people and it's usually accompanied with a wedu and with some stew and amala try it today don't forget to subscribe to wundia's corner youtube channel thank you for always being there and thank you for watching today's video see you in my next video bye